All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back for some training content. I'm also joined by Lewis today. So a little bit of a, a I guess, a sort of a post-season season wrap up before we get into today's leg day. So for me, I am now coming up to just about three weeks post-show. A very successful season. I was, was really happy with it and uh, happy with the end result at the, at the Olympia in the sense that it just gave me so much more to work on and to improve on and it, it taught me really where I am in terms of the level of the sport and I'm just excited now to improve. I'm up about eight to 10 pounds in body weight since the Olympia and that eight to 10 pounds absolutely is needed because it's yielded plenty of performance progressions in the gym. Uh, me and Lewis are actually just talking in the sense that coming out of a show, the biggest thing is like adjusting to the response your body gives you when you start progressing training. So your body's now sore, your body's now tired from progressive training as opposed to the deficit. Um, so sort of easing into that a little bit is kind of in the goal, but I think me and Lewis would agree that we both really don't like easing into things. You probably get a picture of that in today's session that, you know, we, we both really do train in a very similar way. It's, 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 it's all out, you know, even in the sessions where we probably should hold back a little bit, we, we do take it to that that level of intensity that, in my opinion, is required to get the level of muscle that we both have. So a little bit of a, an introduction to, to Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, he's a British champion, first and foremost. But I'll let you take the rest. Um, I'm slightly ahead of AJ, post-show wise. Uh, my last show was a British, AJ also competed in. Yes, um, both in the We shared overall. the overall stage together, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um, so I'm six weeks post-show now. I'm about 15, 16 pounds up, starting to get back to normal. Training-wise, health-wise, appetite-wise, starting to calm down a little bit, but starting to run that red line now with the uh, progressive training that AJ just mentioned. Um, but yeah, excited to get stuck in. Yeah, absolutely. What's the uh, next plans for you? I know you haven't shared uh, much, but I, uh, I know sort of yeah. some of your plans in the future. Yeah, um, my plan was to get back up to uh, full speed post shows as fast as possible. So that's why I haven't really eased back into it as such. Um, Strength-wise, performance-wise, appetite-wise, take a little bit of time off and then most likely go down the assisted route yeah. and uh, chase that, that long-term IFBB goal. Yeah, fantastic. So definitely a very cool journey to follow. And for people watching as well, like Lewis's season where he, he won his qualifier and won his British, was that was your first ever first competitive year. season. So a f phenomenal first season. Um, also can't see him right now but some of the best quads I've ever seen on stage so I'm definitely going to be paying a lot of attention to Lewis and the way he trains because there's always something I can learn from training with others and hopefully there's something you guys can take home as well so enjoy starting off the calves. Uh, typically throughout my whole prep, uh, I started with calves just because I found that the intensity that we put into the rest of the session, by the time we get to the end, the calves are just an afterthought. And if you want good calves, you gotta kind of put in the same amount of effort that you'd be putting into everything else. So if we apply a little bit more focus and attention to them at the beginning of the session, the work's just so much of a higher quality. So uh, on calves, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Spending time in both ends of the range. So spending time in the stretch, spending time in the shortened. I'm sure Lewis will agree. Um, these are pretty, pretty big cues when we're training the calf. A lot of people will, you know, 
ram another 40 kilos of the machine and uh, basically not spend any time in either of those ranges. And you've got to ask yourself, like, what's really moving that weight from A to B? You know, is it, is it the calf itself? Or are you introducing a load of knee flexion and actually just using it as like a, a weird potentiation exercise for the quads? So uh, we want to train the calves. So we're going to stay accurate on these as much as we can. Perfect, mate. Yes. Back. I almost definitely need the 20 or even a little more you could probably go for, but I don't think I've ever stacked anything in my calves before. So. Yeah. <laughs> Most people are putting loads of plates on, on there, but I was just saying like calf training is stay a little lighter. Yeah. Stay a little bit more honest with the range. Slight pause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so much. What's that? It needs to be a bit louder, yeah. Got some proper leg day music now. Oh! Come on. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Seems like a bit of a boring start to a session but you can, I'll promise you like when you finish legs, you'll be thankful that you did this first because you know leaving the gym, you did quality calf work and the leg includes the calf. So if you want some of the best legs on, on a stage, which I think Lewis definitely brought, um, start, start with your calves, you know, get them done. Next up, adductors. Typically just one set here. Again, the adductor is often overlooked when it comes to the, the whole leg. If you've got thick adductors, it's gonna give you a, the illusion of a much, much bigger leg from the front and from the back, and even arguably a little bit from the side as well. But definitely from the back for me, I need bigger adductors. Um, I need to close off the, the gaps that I have in my rear double bicep and, and what's gonna do that is bigger adductors. So for me, I've, I've actually gotten pretty, pretty strong adductors, but arguably I need to be more intentful with change of direction and control with adductor training. So that's a big focus for me and making sure that I don't get too caught up in, in just loading. Sure, but then I do always take two additional it's with very a self spot, yes, yeah. yes. So I can get it into the middle range, yeah. fine. So that last, that's the last, that last bit. Yeah. So I tend to take two or three like that. Thanks, mate. Come on, work, all the way. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Let's do 
obviously you might not have caught the bit of me and Lewis chatting, but we're just agreeing that it's very, very hard to get this machine short. So to completely fatigue their ductors across their entire range, we'll take assisted reps on the final three so that we've pretty much taxed them in, in the length and as well as the short. Yes, good. Perfect. You're out. Good. See so many people stacking these machines with no intent. I think the best the best cue that I've got is knees together. I think that's the uh, most important cue really for the doctors. Get the most out of the machine. Work. <laughs> oh. 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 Perfect. In. Come on then. <laughs> One. Take another. Take another. Come on. Move, move, move. Keep going. Yeah. Finish off. Four. One more. <laughs> Into five, into five, uh, four, uh, three, keep going, uh, two, one, number uh, two, uh, one, oh, yes, good. Hard that, isn't it? It feels nice. Yeah, <laughs> if, like you get out of that and it feels like everything from like here yeah. to here is lot. on fire. Whole lot. That's the benefit of these prime pieces is that when used correctly, you should actually come out of the sets feeling like there is nothing left in that particular body part. Every range taxed. But the thing is that the difference is you've actually got to learn resistance profiles to be able to apply the correct setting to the machine. You can't just come in and go, oh, I'll whack it on that setting. You know, listening to, to other people that are of a high level of knowledge when it comes to resistance training and then applying that with hard brutal training that's what's going to get you big you know so apply the knowledge and then just then train really hard you've got to have both
so you'll see Lewis is going barefoot. I'll get Lewis to explain a little bit as to why he does that because he uh, we just we just commented like he's uh, used the heel wedge in the past, uh, Romelio's or lifter shoes. Uh, prefers barefoot, so I've done both. Um, I haven't run this consistently with a heel wedge, so I want to try because I'm, I'm definitely able to get a ton more knee flexion. But uh, I've also had good periods of time of, of running it barefoot, but I find that uh, my heels tend to tend to lift a little. It's my limiting factor is ankle mobility. So if I was to work on my ankle mobility, I'd probably be able to remove these. But uh, for now, these are offering me probably the best quad dominant hack squat that I can create at the moment. I think it's just a case of I pretty much train everything barefoot now. Um, whether that's pull, push, anything where I need a stable base. I like the barefoot feel. I feel like I can feel where my body is more, where my centre of mass is more. It just feels more comfortable. But no scientific reason really. Do you have any cues? that you're thinking about in terms of where you're placing pressure on the pad? Yeah. Tripod, the foot, heel, big toe. Big toe, yeah. yeah. I especially find with squat movements, yeah. big toe is quite important because find some reason, as my toes turn out, it stops from turning out. It yeah. finds yeah. pressure yeah. on my yeah. big foot. So yeah, thinking big foot, heel, and it just stays a lot, stay locked in pretty well. Yeah, I must admit that big toe one is really key with this especially. I find, I find yeah. as the set went on, my feet are slowly getting wider and wider. So yeah. That Using that big foot, that big uh, toe tight. Yeah. Stay making sure. Yeah. Got it. Last warm up, three and a half. Um, I'm trying to keep that slight pause in the hole that I was doing on my density days, because this is actually typically my back squat day, but because uh, Lewis is the away team, I forfeited the back squat today, because I knew that that would be a bit unfair. Um, plus Lewis at the end of a, a mesocycle, Throwing in a back squat will literally just throw him into the fire and burn him alive. So I, uh, I, I we'll just burn ourselves alive on this instead. It's safer. Come on, strong. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Everything. Yes, come on. Stay with, stay with. Yes, nice. Oh. Get in your head, Lewis. Get in your fucking head. Come on. There's a reason you've got fucking massive legs. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Up. 
Yes, all day. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, all day. Yes. Again. Yes, that's it. Fucking find it. Come on. Go. Oh. Yes, again. Come on. Come on. Yep. Oh. Oh. Go again. How? Oh. Go again. Go now. Too fucking easy. Too easy, go again. Couple of breaths. Oh. One, two, now we go. Stop fucking around, go now. Yes, yes, yes. And we go, and we go, and we go, and we go. Lewis, too easy, too easy. Two breaths. We go again. Take it, let's take it, let's take it. Mass. Ah! Yes, 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 yes. All fucking day. Phenomenal. Yep, up a little, right in. Quality set. That was tremendous. Woo. Well, you should have definitely gone first, because now I feel like an absolute gimp. <laughs> My set was not good. <laughs> that was amazing, mate. Wow, good set. Reminding me why I need another 10 pound of body weight. You should take five for a run. Especially with where you're at right now, like. Yes, you're fatigued, but you're also in a really good run of strength. So just take a five set. Obviously take your time, but I think you should do a five set. But I fucking make it up on this set. Gotta do something decent with this. The thing is, at the moment, I've not had enough. Sounds like a shitty excuse, but I've not, I've not done enough low rep range work in a while. I've been, and I also feel like at the moment my stability in low rep ranges or heavy weight is still rubbish. Um, my my weight at the moment, albeit eight eight pounds up from my stage, was. My, my weight's the same that I competed at in Italy in 2020. That shows how out of shape I was for that. But um, it's still like, you know, lean. So I'm looking forward to being a little, like another month down the line where he is, where I've got a bit more body weight behind me and I can fucking get some proper weight on my back and, and actually move it with intent, like proper, proper intent. But for now, I've just got to take my time and be jealous of those sets. Yes. Perfect. Keep that tempo. Cool. Good. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Hard at the hole. Hard at the hole. Yeah. Good. That's yours. Yeah. I see two. I see two. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's easy. Come on. Go again. Go again. Come on. Take one. Go. Take one. Come on, this is yours. Yes. Hide out the hole. Stay with it. Stay with it. Come on. Yeah, good. <laughs> this is nothing. Four's a joke. Five's working. One 
more, motherfucker. Come on. One more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah? We're good. Yes, more. One. Come on. No! Stay with. Come on then. Drive out. Yes. Come then. Yes. How long do you rest in the Widowmaker? 30. <sighs> Drive out! Yeah. Oh yeah! Yep! Good! Yes! Come on! Yep! No less than five. Fuck. No less than five. Come on. Shh. You decide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, come on. One more, one more, finish it off. One more, one more. Yes! Ah! Beautiful. Come on, let's finish this phase on a high. Let's go. Oh, yes. Get stuck in. One now. One. Go. Fucking find the pain. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. That's the one. That's the one. Rack. Good. Us. All the way continuous. Yes, I'm here. Ooh. I'm here. Trust me. Ah! Four and five. Find them. Death, 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 death. Find five. Six. Six for that fucking pro card. Come on. Yep, 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 oh. yep. Oh. 
so we've kind of uh, and we've kind of lost the commentary on this session. So uh, we did hacks, we did leg press, uh, we did two sets of hacks. Lewis smoked four and did a great set with five. I got buried by four, did an okay set with three and a half. That needs work. Um, leg press, a good Widowmaker set from both of us. Nothing left in the tank there, that was quality. And now we've got three sets left. Two sets of leg extension, one with a rest pause, and then, uh, and then a set of Darmel RDLs to finish. And uh, yeah, I think we're both feeling it now, to be honest. So what I said about doing calves at the start rings true at this point in the session where you know, a lot of pain. But um, if you're not in, if you're not in a good level of discomfort when you're training quads hard, then you're not training quads hard. That's it. There we are. Good. Lovely. Good. Yes. We take another. Oh. Come on. Take it all the way. This is you. This is you. This is you. Just a tiny touch. Just a tiny touch. Good. Ten. Yeah. Hard out the hole. Hard out the hole. Yes. Hard out. There you go, there you go, there you go. Perfect, good. We'll take some breathers. Pop out. Yes! Ow, 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 ow. Come on, you stupid cunt. Ah, come on. Do the fucking stupid shit that no one else does. Woo! Fucking. Ah! Finish with a bit of a uh, downward dog. I love to finish with a bit of yoga. A bit of fucking yoga. Nice, Lewis. You've been sick. So uh, Lewis is out. DNF. Um, and uh, I finished with the dumbbell RDL. Here he is. Number RDL 70 for 18. And uh, yeah, I feel horrible. Brilliant session. Sick? Okay, close. Not sick, close. Um, do you want to just leave it? Yeah, yeah, better idea. Don't do that stupid shit. Thanks for watching guys, uh, make sure you follow Lewis, I'll leave his 
Instagram in the uh, in the info shit. Um, he'll be doing some really cool stuff over the next few months and next few years. So um, yeah, I don't think we'll compete next to each other again. But and unfortunately, now Lewis is now only going to get much bigger than me. So that's why I got a session in now. And uh, yeah, we'll chat soon. See you later, guys.